Why, when things seem to go well, suddenly, without warning, they stop working? Questions. Questions that rarely have answers. And all they do is increase the uncertainty. How much does luck have to do in all this? But actually, in a second, everything can change. Is it true when they say that if a door is closed, a window opens? Life, at times, seems to be driving itself. It turns, changes pace. How much do we really influence those changes? <sighs> Who am I? I was the first child of parents who dreamed of a united and big family. And I got used to having more things than I needed. My way of answering them was to be the best in everything. I started looking for more independence. Writing allowed me to invent that place. One day, I decided to look further. I realized that there were many things I didn't know, like how to play guitar. Until one morning, I had a lucky accident. I met Beatrice. She was the first to see the things I had written. Beatrice showed it to Jack. Jack could not stop reading. Jack showed it to Celine. Celine was touched. She showed it to Professor Pingut. Professor Pingut didn't think the text was mine. He showed it to Mr. Connor. Mr. Connor owned a major publisher. And in that moment, everything started. I wanted to tell you that the first edition is running out, and we're printing the second, and you're still in the ranking. Yes. Good afternoon. Who are you? Who am I? I grew up with my grandparents. I had a very happy childhood. That faded away little by little. First my grandfather, then it was my grandmother. The chicken, the plant, and the dog's sight. The city seemed like a perfect place to start growing. It seemed. Things went well in Mr. Yusuf's green grocer until the very greedy could not bear I got hungry. By chance, I made a great hairdresser. The actresses of the next door theater went in the afternoons to ask for hair for their wigs. I would put it in a bag and take it to them. It was several months until one day the main actress didn't make it to the final rehearsal. 
and I knew her text by heart. Stranger, just thinking about it makes me want to tear myself to shreds. Then, the first text did not take long to prove me. And then the first payments to act. And the first investment, a bicycle. In the mornings, I use it to go to the theater school. And in the afternoons, I work delivering orders. Sir, I'm from Click Offices, home delivery. Well, come in. Don't just stay there. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. You just have to sign the receipt. Mm. I'm not used to signing standing up. <laughs> it does not say what the box contains. Do you know? <laughs> I can tell you never received a delivery. I have no idea. So many books. Are you a writer? I've written something here and there. Are you famous? What is fame to you? It seems to me something like the reverse of oblivion. <laughs> I once heard a writer say that fame is a spot on the tip of your nose. Everyone sees it, except you. I think you realize that you care when you look in the newspapers and you don't appear. When you go out to the streets and nobody greets you. Hmm. I'm going to make coffee. Do you want one? Mm, I don't know if that would be correct. <laughs> it will only be five incorrect minutes. Mm, okay. And tell me, what do you do? <laughs> half the time, I am a delivery girl, and the other half, I am an actress. And in two weeks, we premiere a play, and for the first time, I have the leading role. Mm, that's great! Yes! Everything has been like a dream. I still can't believe it. And you? What are you working on now? In a kind of crisis, I would say. Things do not come to me. It's as if everything changed very suddenly. In a moment, I was so high that it changed my point of view. And it happens that sometimes inspiration suffers from vertigo and heights. And she leaves without giving any explanation. And you stay blank. Time passed by, and my editor asked for explanations that I couldn't even give myself. Maybe everything was a sum of fortunate events. Maybe it was just being at the right time in the right place. Worst of all is that maybe I never even had any talent. Uh, I have a confession to make. I know very well who you are. You probably don't even imagine, but your book was my only company for a long time. I read it many times. It was a great friend in difficult times. When I went to work at the delivery company, I fantasized about the idea that one day it would be my turn to deliver you something, and I could meet you in person. Sometimes you have to help luck a little bit. 
I also wanted you to know that the text of the play I told you about is mine, and it's inspired by your book. I hope you don't mind. No. <clears throat> No, no. I, I, of course not. I, I had to tell you what you, your book, means to me. Well, I have to go. I won't take up more of your time. Thanks for the conversation and coffee. Y you're welcome. It was very nice. I would love to see you, uh, go see you, to the premiere of your play. Of course, you have to see it. I'll send you an invitation. Hey, there's nothing in the box. <laughs> Are you sure? Look again. Maybe this time you have luck. <laughs> <laughs>